for us when these stocks go on sale, because they will go on sale, the question for us is not when we're looking to buy one is, hey, look, this old school FANG is actually at a valuation I want to buy. The question is, what catalyst brought it into dominance? Is that catalyst saturated? And can they pivot into the new catalyst, which is AI? Massive caps, CapEx spending from big tech going into AI infrastructure. And now we're seeing people getting nervous saying, well, what's the result? And where did they go? They looked at Apple Developer Day, right? They're looking at Apple. What have you done in AI? In order to prove that this spend is actually worth something. And that is the wrong way to look at this. What the fangs were about was consumer software. Netflix, Apple, Google, Facebook. All products, all software that we used as consumers. It was fun, it was exciting. AI is about enterprise hardware. Okay, the point of AI is not to create a great consumer product. I'm sure it will turn into that one day. But right now, it is to crunch copious amounts of data to solve very complicated problems that will allow businesses to increase production and reduce costs. Understanding the catalyst matters a lot. That's the main thing that we do as tech investors. What you're looking at is Apple releasing the iPhone June of 2007. Immediately saw a 61% drawdown. And since releasing in June of 2007, it's up over 4,400%. Over 4,400%. It's seen six greater than 30% drawdowns, three of them greater than 40%. Now, what madman would hold that stock through all that volatility? I mean, so many opportunities get shaken out of your position. And if you understand the catalyst, you understand the moat that these companies have within this catalyst, then instead of looking at this as a time I got to get out and buy lower or, you know, I'm going to take my gains while I have it, you look at this as an opportunity as we do to maybe take small gains, hedge the position, and look to buy more on the dips. So you can have a period of extreme volatility, and you still can have a company reach a really high target because they're the primary beneficiary of a very powerful catalyst. Do you think AI is going to stop being developed because we're in a bear market? Our goal, this is what, we, this is what our goal is, is not very often that you see the confluence of a potential credit-driven bear market, if you will, um, and the start of a very powerful micro-trend or catalyst. The last time we saw it was in 20, it was 2008 with Apple, right? And all those companies that were involved in that, I mean, they broke out to new highs within a couple of years and just kept going. And so we see that opportunity as an opportunity of a lifetime. And so we want to make sure that we hold ample amounts of cash to buy these left-for-dead AI companies.